Hey there, good morning. Um, I am, um, it's Thursday and I'm back and we're gonna talk to you a little bit today about your security during a real estate transaction. And, oh my gosh, Kaylin, what are you doing? Well, <laughs> those cyber hackers are out there. I'm, you know, I got her. I'm, are you don't want it, I don't want anybody hacking me. You're yes, computer? I am. Oh. Hey, oh my God! Those retina things—they can see me. Oh, what? oh, they're reading your eyeballs. They're oh, reading my eyeballs. <laughs> Cybersecurity—it's a thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> see, it's facial recognition. You know that new iPhone 10? Oh, the whole face thing. So, oh wow! Yeah. So yeah, to wear your sunglasses. Yeah, so unless they... you have an identical twin, I think you're okay. But you know, I'd be a little afraid. Wow. out there well yeah. is your computer going to be okay after taping it all up i think so i think yeah. that's going to prevent those cyber hackers from getting in there probably not okay <laughs> so so we don't recommend duct taping we your don't. computer at all you could wear the sunglasses for, yeah you can um you know we do that with cattle too we do retina anyway that's a whole nother topic wow so that's a, that's a yeah, so instead of doing thing things, yeah know. you can yeah. scan the retinas so that you know that that's the calf that you're taking to the fair and you're not bringing another one Oh my gosh, what? Hey, this is a full time <laughs> educational <laughs> Facebook Live. You learn about cattle and you learn about real estate transaction and how to keep your information safe. Keep your information safe. That's right. That's right. Actually, that is the topic that we're really going to talk to you about because we just had, especially with the whole Equifax yeah. thing that yep. just came out, and there's wire frauds. There's a lot of things going mm -hmm. on right now that it's really important. It is. It is important to make sure that the information that you're receiving via email is actually from us. Yes. Um, um, but a lot of the sensitive information we're getting from you, we're going to be using secure um, software uh, platforms. Uh, we're not going to ask for sensitive information via text or email right. because those are the kinds of things that people can Hack hack into because you'll every once in a while get that email say hey don't accept a friend request from me because I've been hacked right um, so make sure you change your passwords often change your passwords yep. use really good passwords really good passwords which then you have to keep a list right of all yeah your I passwords. know and it's really like, complicated it is very complicated yes so yeah don't use password for your yeah, password one two three password yeah zero 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 zero, zero. zero. not a good one, two, idea three four <laughs> don't do it <laughs> so yeah so let, let's say we're we're in a real estate state transaction and and we just worked with a couple that were moving here from Texas. They were here, yep. but their bank was in Texas where their funds were. Right. And you think, oh, I'll just wire the funds. Yeah, that that's is, easy. No, that's not easy. It's not easy. It's yes. not easy. Especially if you are away because they thought they had everything set up. Yep. They talked to their bank prior to even moving. Exactly. But they, the bank didn't tell them that was a certain limit. <laughs> right. Communication. Communication. There, yes. We've already talked about that, but that's really important. Very important. So, you know, don't expect that the apples wire my funds right. because we don't really want that in a real estate transaction because there have been wire fraud issues. There's been, been some people in Iowa that have had an issue yes. where, and it, it came through an email. It did. Uh, at the last minute uh, prior to it closing, it came through an email that we need to change where you're wiring your funds. And so they did that and they lost their money. Yeah, so like we're not going to. dollars yeah. worth of lost money or more. So yeah, exactly. That's a lot. So we're not going to change those instructions on you at the last minute and we're going to encourage, we're going to talk to you oh. earlier in the process about where those funds are going to go and how we're going to get them yeah so I actually so um, I had one with a, somebody that was coming from California as well and we had a whole process set up that I'm gonna get them then we're gonna call each other you know me I'm you know let's read what that looks like so you just need to have really good communication and yep. we were talking about that you if somebody new calls you because they're yes. actually getting really good at even calling people right and so if somebody randomly calls you that you're like I've never talked to this person ever before you should question anything Absolutely. that's different yep um, so like if Kaylin and I are the people you've been talking to on the transaction and all of a sudden Brandon Smith from right. whatever calls you you're like I've never talked to Brandon during this whole transaction Not and even they say oh I'm Lisa's processor or I'm Kaylin's yes. assistant if you've never been introduced to our process or our assistant, it's probably not us. So yeah. uh, we've been really lucky. We've not had really issues, but this is coming up and this is an issue in real estate. So, um, you know, be careful out there. So, right. So on the real estate side, Kayla, I was talking about like, mm -hmm. they don't need a ton of your personal no. information. I don't. Now on the loan side, I have all of your personal information. I know a lot about people at the end. <laughs> um, 
But, and so for us, even on our side, I know some of our clients have said, oh my goodness, I have to set up a new password and I can't, it's harder to get into mm -hmm. those items. Well, I will tell you that that is part of our systems mm -hmm. for keeping your information secure. And so most of the time for us, for you to sign our documents, it is, you're putting in a new password. Mm -hmm. um, we have certain passwords that we use. You have to set up an account um, on our mobile app. Um, it's great because it is a secure system to upload your documents. We also have another whole system that you can upload documents securely because it really, you don't want to actually email me your no. taxes that has your social security number right. and things, your kids' social security. I mean, think about what's on your taxes. Yep. I mean, those things and to say, hey, Lisa, here's my taxes in your email and then send them to me right. isn't sometimes the best thing. So uploading them via a secure site or yeah. doing things like that is really important. You know, don't you wish those cyber hacker, hackers would get a real job? Real job. I mean, I mean they just work. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> seriously. <laughs> not take other people's money. Yeah. <laughs> what's the What's the point? What's the joy in that in life? Is harming <laughs> other people. I don't get it. But you know, they what read would those your mother think? Books yeah. And say. <laughs> yes. Get rich quick. Right. Well. Well, yeah. There's that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you can't spend it in jail. So uh, if you're out there cyber hacking, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you're making all of our lives pretty miserable. Yeah, yeah. But make sure you're sure you're working with us. Yeah, you know, trusted, <laughs> trusted professionals that are using safeguards to make sure your information's safe. You really do. And yeah. so even if it's not, as you really want to make sure that somebody's just not asking you. Yes. For, for, like Random never ask, especially over text messaging is really mm. popular, and you just don't want to send things. No. Um, social security numbers, birth dates, all of that via yeah. no text, text or, or email. emails. I'll call you if I need it. Uh, so, Elisa. Um, but uh, you know what? The one of the safest things to use is fax machine. Yes, they haven't figured out how to hack a fax machine. Fax machines, <laughs> which I know they're kind of archaic, right? Yes, yes. If you are twenty-four, you might not even know what a fax machine yeah, is. Yeah, true. Hey, I remember the thermal paper fax machine. Oh my god! <laughs> You know, the, you had, the it was a roll, roll of it had thermal the paper. You had to like, take the sides off, yes. right? When you it did, and they put it in, and there's no memory in those. So if the paper ran out before the fax was done, you oh, didn't get the lost fax. It? Oh, you had to call them and to resend the fax, but wait till I get the new roll of thermal paper on there, and you're scrambling, and you know, where's the roll? You know, yeah, it was a nightmare. But yeah, that was. <laughs> We've got a long way, We've baby. We've a long way, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, fax is, uh, you know, I've kind of, you know, archaic, but they are a secure way to, to send documentation. So yeah, anyway. They are. Yeah. Cyber so, hackers out there, do yep. not hack. So. Taping your don't, computer won't help. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's painter's tape. It comes off really easy. <laughs> Well, guys, I, if you have any questions about the topics we talk about, you know, please let us know. And, you know, next week we've got a little surprise for you. We do. It's a big surprise. I'm going to be on location, and it's a surprise location. A surprise location, which yeah. all of us, like, I wish I was going to be with her, but, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be here, and yeah. she'll be somewhere special. I'll be somewhere special. So <laughs> have a great week, I'll guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>